Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. First thing you want to do is fill a pot with water. Now you can add the ingredients first if you like, then top it off with water, but I like to add it to the stove and get that heat going immediately. Now a while back I gave you a honey chipotle chicken wing recipe, and I showed you how to take that wing and separate the drum from the flat, and how to separate the wing tip as well. And most recipes will tell people to take these two pieces and use this to make their stock, but that's just a waste of chicken wings. So instead, I take the wing tips most people throw away, put them in a Ziploc bag and store them in the freezer until I'm ready to make a stock. And in any stock recipe I make, I always need a chopped onion. But you're also going to need some fresh herbs, some parsley, thyme, bay leaves, and of course some garlic. These ingredients here are all you need to make a good stock or broth. You can of course make it a little heartier by adding some vegetables like carrots, celery, even tomatoes. You can even spice it up a little bit if you'd like to use some small red chilies, some large chilies, or even a little bit of an Asian flavor, and add some crushed ginger. And you want to cook this over medium heat until you see the bubbles start to surface, and then you want to change your heat down to a simmer. And you want to cook this for approximately three to four hours, but you always want to come back and revisit it about every 30 minutes or so. And you can push the foam out to the side with your ladle and skim the surface and remove all this scum. This is an important step because leaving that in there gives it a nasty bitter taste. Once you do that it will clear up a lot more and look a lot like this here. And as you can see after three hours of reduction we've lost quite a bit of water. And at this point you want to just strain it through a sieve. Restaurants will often use filters but you don't have to get that crazy with it. But you can see now by using those wing tips it's not quite as thick as stock, but it's not as thin as broth either. Just look how clean this is. You get a nice, happy medium. And you can store this in your fridge for three or four days and use it for whatever recipe. And there you have it. Chicken stock broth right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.